Let's break down how to select the right inverter and battery for your needs. The first step is to identify what all you would like to run on the inverter when the power turns off to determine the actual capacity of the inverter and the battery that you would need. On the screen, you will see how much electricity some commonly used appliances we run on an inverter. For the sake of this example, I'm going to run my fridge, my TV, four lights and two BLDC fans. So my power requirement would be about 450 watts. Now that we know how much our actual power requirement is, we need to calculate how much capacity of the inverter we select needs to be. Typically, inverters operate at 70 to 80% of the load it is supposed to serve, rarely at 100%. So to factor that in, divide this power requirement by 0.7 to get about 643 VA, which is the minimum inverter capacity I would need. So I should be able to pick anything above that. Inverters available in different capacities between 600 to 2500 BA. So choose an inverter above this calculated BA or volt ampere. To make it easier for you, I've shared some common usage patterns and their requirements on the screen to help you narrow down your selection. I have excluded square wave and modified square wave inverters in this comparison as they are noisier than square wave inverter and not preferred by majority of people. Next, we have to identify what battery capacity we need to buy. Now again, this is based on your power requirement as well as how long you would wish to run your appliances on the inverter. Now again, explaining with the example that we took earlier, if our requirement is 450 watt and we want to run it for 4 hours, then our minimum battery requirement would be 150 ampere hour. 12 is the voltage of the battery attached to the inverter. So the battery that we select should be anything more than 146 0.6 ampere hour. Again, to make it easier for you, I've shared some common usage patterns and their battery requirements on the screen to help you narrow down your selection. As you can see on the screen, there are many options available between 135 ampere hour to 260 ampere hour. So select one based on your calculated requirement. Since the maximum battery capacity around 260 ampere hour, if your required battery capacity is above this, you will need to go for a dual battery option. Only the inverters that you see on the screen actually support dual batteries. One thing to note is that many inverters have a maximum battery capacity that they support, typically between 220 to 230 ampere hour. Make sure you observe this before buying the battery as if you buy a battery with a larger capacity, it may not be compatible with the inverter. Most inverter batteries in the market are lead acid tubular batteries, which is what we mostly cover today which require some ongoing maintenance, take longer to charge and are bulkier. There is an upcoming category on integrated inverter and battery combination which uses lithium ion batteries instead of the lead acid batteries, which have lesser maintenance overhead, are faster to charge and are also compact. So these are also ideal for apartments where space is limited. These are however more expensive than an inverter plus lead acid battery combination. I have a few recommendations on this towards the end. Now that we understand the basics, there are a few value added capabilities in inverters and batteries that we should be aware of. If you have electricity coming from both the grid as well as solar panels, then a solar compatible inverter is ideal for you. There are a few inverters that support this configuration that you see on the screen. Many inverters you see on the screen have a safety feature called the bypass switch which allow the inverter to be bypassed during inverter maintenance or if the inverter is not working, which means that the current flows directly from the mains to your appliances. There are a few inverters that have an app using which you can optimize the usage of the inverter, like save power during a holiday, check backup time left, get reminders on water topping and so on. All inverters have safety features like short circuit protection, overload protection, over temperature protection, low battery voltage shut and so on. So not much difference between inverters here. Most inverters work with different brands of batteries. So it is not necessary to stick to the same brand of inverter and battery. Lastly, let's talk about the warranty and pricing. Warranty for inverters is generally three years, mainly given by Luminous, followed by two years by other brands like Microtech and Vegan. After going through thousands of user experiences and reviews, Luminous, LiveGuard and Excide have the highest user satisfaction rate in terms of service and product quality, followed by Microtech, WeGuard and Okaya. Genus products have a mixed feedback, both in terms of product quality and after-sales service. 
Now let's get to my recommendations. There are a few different categories based on your expected usage. So please jump to those accordingly. Like we spoke earlier, inverters are sold separately from batteries. So my recommendations on batteries are towards the end. For basic usage with requirement of just running a few fans, lights and your fridge, up to 800 VA is good enough. For three to four hours of use, a single battery setup is sufficient. My first recommendation is the Microtech Superpower 700 inverter. At a budget pricing, this 600 VA inverter supports a peak load of 510 watts. Good enough for basic usage during a power cut. It also has an LED display which shows the backup and charging time. It supports one 12 volt battery of 100 to 200 ampere hour. Again, sufficient for basic usage of a few lights, fans and fridge in the house. My next recommendation is the VGuard Prime 750 inverter. This supports a peak load of 520 watts, sufficient for a few fans, lights, fridge or a TV. The display shows battery capacity, water topping reminders, overload indicators, low battery indicator amongst others. If you have medium usage, with your requirement being running a few fans and lights as well as non-heating equipment like fridge, TV and computer, between 800 to 1200 VA is good enough. For 3 to 4 hours of use, again a single battery setup is sufficient. My first recommendation is the Luminous Zelio Plus 1100 inverter. Luminous gives one of the better warranties of 3 years and a better service network compared to most others. This inverter supports a peak load of 900 watts, sufficient for running a few non-heating equipment in your house. My next recommendation is the LiveGuard inverter, available at a much lower price than the Luminous for a lower peak load of 756 watts, sufficient for running a few fans, lights and non-heating appliances. This also supports batteries up to 260 ampere hour, so you can pair this with a heavy-duty battery for longer time. If you have high usage with your requirement of running fans, lights, AC, fridge and an AC in your house. Specifically, if you want to run an AC, you need to go for a 2500 VA plus inverter with a dual battery setup. My first recommendation is the Luminous Zold 1700 inverter. Supports a max load of 1260 watts. Good for heavy duty usage. It also supports two batteries, essential for longer run time of heavy appliances. If you plan to run an AC, then I recommend going with the 2500 VA Plus inverter, the Luminous iCruise 3000 Plus. This is a 2800 VA inverter with a peak load of 2240 watts. Good for running fridge, washing machine, AC, geyser, water pumps and so on. It supports two batteries but only up to 220 AH. If your power source is solar as well as grid, then you can go with the Luminous NXG series which is available in different capacities. So choose one based on your required capacity requirement. Lastly, if you want a low maintenance inverter battery setup, an inverter with a lithium ion battery is good option for you. Typically, this comes in a combo. My top recommendation for this is the Genus Maxi Lion. Nice wordplay on lithium ion batteries. As highlighted before, using an inverter with a lithium ion battery is more compact less maintenance and has a longer life compared to lead acid batteries. The Genus Maxi Lion inverter combination is useful for medium usage like few fans, lights, fridge and TV. No heavy duty appliances like ACs. Next, let's talk about batteries. I have three recommendations for you in the most commonly used capacity. 150, 200 and 200 plus ampere hour. Choose one based on your requirement calculated earlier. Also, these batteries interwork with each other, so you can use these with other brands of inverters too. A thing to note is that many inverters only support up to 230 ampere hour capacity batteries. So, if you are selecting the genus carbon, make sure that the inverter you have chosen is able to support up to 260 ampere hour. If you found this video useful, share the video and subscribe to become part of the 100,000 plus community that trusts us with their decision making. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.